Hey all, I'm back again with a wonderful session and we are on day 7. Let me take you through the material which we need for this drawing. You need sketch colors, eraser, pencil, a ruler and marker pen. Marker pen is optional. So let's begin. In today's session, we are going to learn how to draw simple bugs and insects. Before I start drawing, I always do a warm-up exercise. Warm-up exercise includes making few lines, circles, curve, and few patterns which help me to have a eye and hand coordination. Most importantly, if you notice, art is a combination of lines, curves, and circles. If we do regular warm-up exercise, that will build in perfection in our drawing. If you are new to my channel, please do visit our art classes tutorials uh, which is already there in the playlist and I am also giving you the links in the description box. We started this tutorial with warm up exercise as a day one session and then we moved on drawing alphabets and drawing shapes. Also we did a drawing with numbers, fruits and vegetables and recently the last drawing was on coloring birds and drawing birds which was really interesting please have a look at them and don't forget to subscribe us with bell icon for future notifications i am fast forwarding the session to save your time if you are a parent who would like to teach this to your kids before you start please ensure that you talk about the art which you are going to make for instance here we are making a lot of insects and bugs you can talk to them about the names of the insects and bugs like ladybug butterfly bee ant beetle bug caterpillar cockroach cricket dragonfly and mosquitoes you can talk about them a lot you can talk about the differences in each bugs and insects you can talk about the difference between insects and bug those things will help them to brainstorm and they will be definitely interested in making the art of those insects and if you are a grown-up or a beginner who is starting this session i'm sure it is easy for you to follow me it's just that uh, you need to be good at making few curves and straight lines and that's more than enough for you to be perfect i'm just sharing my point of view to you i'm sure when you practice on your own you will find it much better and you may experience this in a different way moreover when i was making it i was really enjoying it the reason is that as we grow in art uh, we leave behind all the basic arts and we move on to the next stages and the tutorial which i am making now made me to recollect all those what i have learned as a beginner which was really fun for me to make it for you this reminds me even our childhood memories where we used to try learn all these things so it was a great fun so you enjoy watching it and when you try mute my voice and you can slow it down to make it easy for you to practice i'll meet you at the end of the session
So we are at the end of our session. Hope you would have enjoyed making these insects and bugs. I have enjoyed a lot. Now I'm going to the next step where this is gonna be more fun. That is coloring all the insects and bugs. So let's move on and check what is that I have done. I have chosen the color which are bright for my video and the colors which I like. I haven't gone for a natural insects and bugs color because I just thought it has to be more colorful for kids to attract them to make this artwork. Please do ensure that they color it after drawing because that is what is gonna be fun for them. As I have been telling you all the time, if you think that your kids are lacking interest, please keep motivating them by making art in front of them so slowly automatically they'll start following you and uh, you will definitely see the difference in them if you have find this session useful for you please do comment and keep me posted as to if you have any specific request which i can make a tutorial on i'm signing off now and will meet you with new exciting tutorial until then bye Keep loving and keep sharing.